1948, three years after the end of the Second World War. The world was devastated, millions of people displaced or refugees. In Asia, countries colonised by Europeans were struggling to liberate themselves and assert their independence as nations. China was at the threshold of revolution. The first stirrings of the Cold War. And in Amsterdam, from nations that only a few years earlier had been at war with each other, delegates from 147 churches in 44 countries gathered to found the World Council of Churches. The World Council of Churches is constituted and established. The founding of the World Council of Churches was a decisive step towards realising the dream of churches overcoming their confessional and denominational divisions, recognising in each other the one church of Jesus Christ and speaking and acting together to overcome injustice and to work for peace in the world. In his address to the Assembly, the first General Secretary of the WCC, Willem Fissertoft said, we are a council of churches, not the council of the one undivided church. Our name indicates our weakness and our shame before God. The divisions of the world were very much present. Only 30 of the founding churches came from Africa, Asia or Latin America. The looming Cold War was symbolised in the clash between John Foster Dulles, the future Secretary of State of the United States, and the Czech theologian Josef Hromotka. And the assembly was an overwhelmingly male affair. Of the 350 delegates, only 44 were women. Yet there was a lively gathering of youth delegates at the assembly, whose spokesperson was Philip Potter, later to become General Secretary of the WCC. And it was a woman, Kathleen Bliss from the United Kingdom, who would draft the words of the message for which the assembly would become known. Here in Amsterdam, we have committed ourselves afresh to Christ and have covenanted with one another in constituting this World Council of Churches. We intend to stay together. We intend to stay together. In the years that followed, this would be the watchword for the Fellowship of Churches that made up the World Council of Churches.